What's up guys? Alright, we just finished our Candido. Uh, this is episode 2 Rising Legends. Real quick, it's my bad. I've been so sick for a week. I think I had whatever Scott had. It friggin' sucked. I couldn't even work out. So that's the reason why this video is delayed, but it will be every Monday. Rising Legends will be every Monday. We just finished our Candido. It was like 11 sets. First time ever. <laughs> what is going on guys? It's Kyle here from Colossus Fitness bringing you a voiceover to this intense squat session that Josh and myself had. Uh, so I started out with 275 pounds. We were going for max reps. Our goal was 10 and I actually ended up getting 11. The boys were saying I could have gotten um, anywhere from 13 to 15 but I was pretty happy because I've actually never done 275 for any more than uh, 7 or 8 reps. Uh, so that's a pretty big PR for me. Anyway, so basically how this worked is if you got 10 reps on this set, you'll be doing 10 sets of three. If you got eight to nine reps, you'd be doing eight sets. If you got seven reps, you'd be doing five sets. And if you got lower than seven reps, you'll be skipping the back off squats and you reduce your one rep max by 2.5 pounds. So I got 11, I just ended up doing 10 sets. I didn't want to push it too, too much, especially since I'm coming back to doing back squats. Um, don't want to injure myself and just uh, I'm going to follow the routine and, and do what I need to do. So here's Josh doing 405 pounds, which is actually a fairly big PR for him rep wise because I haven't seen him do any more than six reps with 405. Uh, usually he'll jump up from 405 to 455 and do his thing up there. But uh, he hit 10 reps here and you know, I'm not going to lie. It was definitely a struggle. I didn't I didn't really see him going any more than six to eight reps, but he grinded through. Um, and uh, he just absolutely killed it. So that was pretty cool to see. So here's my first set with 275. Uh, it was fairly easy, you know, today wasn't a very tough day, but just the amount of sets uh, was pretty ridiculous compared to what we're used to. But, you know, it had us in the gym for a while. It had us pushing ourselves. And then here's Josh's first set with 405. Um, and, you know, it, it was a grinder for sure. But, you know, he pushed through and, uh, I see him definitely in the in the near future hitting you know well in the 500s. As you guys probably have seen, his PR is 515. Um, I'm looking to get in the 400s by the end of this program, and I think it's definitely possible. Here's my 10th set. You know, I wasn't frustrated with how it went. Um, it was what it was, and I still grinded through. The third rep was a bit slow, but I still did what I need to do. Rest was around 60 seconds between, um, so we were scrambling back and forth because. Uh, you know, I was losing, using a lot less weight than Josh, so, um, you know, our rest time was basically just changing the plates, which was pretty intense. So, here's Josh's 10th uh, set, um, another grind. He's going nice and low, like Josh has perfect form. Anyways, guys, so here is our pause deficit deadlifts. Um, you guys will probably notice I actually sped this up. Uh, two times faster just because didn't want to bore you guys too much, but here's Josh's set. He did 320, 325 pounds um, and him and I both uh, need to be working off the ground um, a lot more. So instead of doing rack pulls, uh, especially for me, I figure my weakness is from the ground. As soon as I have the bar up off the ground, um, there's no, you know, there's, it's absolutely coming up no matter what. If I can get the bar off a few inches, uh, especially with my 475, 485, 500 pull, you guys all saw that, um, it was coming off no matter what. So I just decided to do de deficit deadlifts uh, for this. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for checking us out. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Now on to some camera shopping. Buddy, this is a memory. Let's see it. So this isn't the actual lens I'll be using, but finally got the 70D. 
Oh, she's pretty. It's a beautiful one. I'm so excited, man. The content's gonna be amazing on our YouTube channel. We got three perfect cameras now. This is it. The funny thing is we probably filmed this camera like 20 times for y'all. Take it in. We what? filmed it. We filmed the camera at Dave's. Oh yeah. We, we filmed Scott's. We're like, we're gonna get this. We're gonna get this, and we finally got it. We were with Maddie. He had the 70D. We were so many different people. Yeah, a lot of people ask us what we filmed with. So now we're filming with the G7X, the 70D, the GoPro Hero 4 Silver Plus, and that's about it. But that's all we need. Last thing we could see ourselves getting is maybe like a drone to screw around with. But maybe one day, like probably five not years for, from now. Yeah, not for a long time. <laughs> Once ago at Best Buy, they still had the uh, G16. Really? Yeah, G16, that was a golden one. I don't know if this is Some drone footage. We literally talked about a drone in like 30 seconds. Yeah, we just said we wanted one. <laughs> yeah. Flying around to you. Baby bear, Papa bear. Time to upgrade. Woo! <laughs> yeah, it actually is though. Boys, we're eating. They don't want us to eat. They don't want to see you eat pizza. They don't want to see you bulk up. Yo, what you know about these Canadian size portions? 20 bucks, baby. We got one bucks. pizza, another pizza, garlic bread and potato wedges. We've got um, chicken wings. We've got a dip to each of us. 20 Canadian dollars. And then we still have a few Diet Cokes coming. 13 bucks American. Five US dollars, right? <laughs>